Hi, <laughs> welcome to our next date. Well, um, I started my um, mermaid ocean theme makes journal book. Um, this is my first two page spread. I'm not quite done. Um, I just lost the inspiration so I, I left it alone and I know I'll come back for some um, touch-ups. Um, it's plain now. I just kind of glue what I would think I would see in the bottom of the ocean. Of course, um, I don't know if you can see this. Is she supposed to be a mermaid or he? Can you see that? I thought that was so cool. And then uh, that's supposed to be a stingray, but it's made out of a flower. Um, he's using um a shell but i'm not sure what this type of shell is called so and then here on the other side is a few um a necklace falling into the deep ocean and this is coral reef so okay now um i did start a different spread which is here i've just been working on it um I'm like, I'm stuck <laughs> with my inspiration. I just can't. So anyway, I found this really neat um, in, a ma in a science magazine. So I cut it out, right? And I needed fence. I went to the craft store and I couldn't find any uh, cereal um, fish. It was just cartoonish. So I just came home and I kind of drew the fence on him or her and then I found this eyeball which um, I don't know where the original is but I'll show you I made a copy of it because I kind of liked it so and I cut it out and I tried to blend it in of course I'm not done here and I this is a pocket I made a pocket which I I'm planning to do something that I can pull in and out but I added this tiny mermaid over here, which she's not done yet. A shark coming out of this section. I put bones for, uh, just like being stirred out, which um, I'm going to kind of make some waves. And uh, the shark is going into the deep water. And I kind of wanted him to be pulling some bones down with him. And uh, this is some kind of um, it was for the for the science magazine. I don't know if it's um, coral or um, some kind of um, I don't know squid or something. So I kind of just thought that would be okay there. I'm not completely done. Why am I showing you this? Because <laughs> I got a brilliant idea and <laughs> I decided that I wanted to experiment with you guys. Um, so, but before I go into the experiment, okay, and what I'm going to about to do, I just wanted to welcome uh, Lisa Gonzalez, Nancy Bilton, and Blue Raven to the channel. Thank you <laughs> for subscribing, and I hope I can ex inspire you in any given way or, um, give you an idea, an inspiration that you can build off of, um, that's what my channel is for to share uh, tips and 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 my journeys through my artwork and learning through other artists so um yes thank you and welcome for subscribing so to the experiment so what i did was i came i wanted to do some sort of like wave on here but i wanted it to be textured so i came up with this I don't know. I call it brilliant because I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm just being sarcastic about that. But um, I got these syringes. I have um, a, a rat terrier, a little dog, and well, when he got sick, they gave me these different um, syringes, and my younger daughter has a chinchilla and they gave her when she brought him in they gave her medication so they give you these type of little uh, pet syringes okay so this is where my idea comes in um there's like three 
different sizes and I'm not sure which one I want to use but this but because is I drew the waves here in pencil I'm gonna probably try to do this one which is like the smallest hole okay here we go <laughs> I'm gonna take textured paste that I made my homemade and by the way if you want your stuff to last and not dry up this is what I do. I put a piece of a piece of plastic on it and it kind of keeps it moist and it, it prevents from the air coming in. I've been doing this for like forever. So if that'll help, I mean it's great. Even my Mod Podge I put it on and it, it lasts longer on everything that has to do with wetness, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this texture paste and shove it in here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm laughing because it's like, what if it doesn't work? You're recording it. And I'm going to be honest and I'm going to upload this. I'm not going to, if it doesn't work, I'm not going to say, oh, well, I'm not going to upload it. No, um, it's a journey and I want you to experiment and go with me on this type of journey of, of you know, ever, um, error and trial, you know, I mean, hey. Why not? Okay, so I'm not sure if I put enough in that. Let me put a little bit more just in case because I really have to give the um, syringe a little bit of moo, uh, room to push the air out. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do it slow because knowing me, I'll poof, and it go all over the place. So I'm sorry. I hope that I'm not out of range. Okay, so I'm scared. <laughs> So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to push it slowly. And hold on a second. I guess I can't. Do, I have to do it two hands. Does it work? Is it working? Okay, it is. I just had to force it just a, uh, a bit. Now remember, it might be different because this syringe is different from this one. Like this one is like, okay, let me show you. This one has that end. And this one's kind of different because it's thinner. Okay. This is the one my daughter gave me, but it has a, uh, the thinnest. Uh, you're like, hurry up, shut up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> I know because I talk to videos too. All right, here we go. Um, okay, I. <laughs> now this is a process of me going on it. It's almost like um, playing around with um, icing on a cake so to speak uh, I don't do that but I'm just saying I watch other videos like that okay now I of course I have to let this dry but I promise I'll do a video follow-up with you guys and see if it worked yep I'm gonna try to see if I can get my hands on a, maybe a thinner nozzle I mean, or the hole maybe, I don't know, but anyway. Okay, I can't complain. I thought it was gonna be a failure, but apparently it looks okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to push that in there, but check it out. <laughs> Waves. <laughs> so let me do if I could do another little squiggly wave. I'll have to um, let it um, dry before I could even add any color to it or anything. So, all right. <laughs> I'm like excited. Thank you guys for like just hanging out with me and doing some crazy stuff. Should I do some more? Okay, okay, a little bit more down here. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. See if it was a little bit thinner. Well, the thing about this is that the deep ocean doesn't really have like waves, but all right, we can pretend, right? Hey, how about that? How about that? I guess, um, don't drag it because <clears throat> not drag it yeah see here it's like but it'll work out you know because 
art is when you make mistakes and they look beautiful because I think mistakes are beautiful you learn from them so in, in artwork I don't believe there's any mistakes really truly I just believe that that we are so critical of ourselves when we create things you know because after all beauty beauty is in the eye of the beholder right and sometimes we can be so critical of ourselves when someone else can see it and see that it's beautiful so yeah but anyway on this one Joan like oh, let me get a piece of paper so I can show you what I'm talking about um, don't lean it on the paper itself and then start dragging because it's it's not it's gonna come out like here all a little bit messy so I think just um, hold it in the air and then just glide it see I'm holding it up here versus if I drag it on the paper but of course it's gonna take practice anyway so all right <laughs> And then you just put the rest inside your container. And, um, of course, you got to go and um, wash this right away. Don't leave it laying around because then um, you're not going to be able to use it because then it's going to be stuck in there because um, the texture paste has glue in it. So it'll glue your syringe. So go and wash it right away. But here's some waves <laughs> um, after it dries and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use watercolor or um, crayons or paint I'm not sure what I'm gonna use on it or even ink I'm not sure yet but when it dries and I decide what I want to put on it I will do that uh, follow-up video and you can see it anyway um, thanks <laughs> for tuning in and um, I'll see you on the follow-up okay <laughs> see you later bye